We're here at the Geneva Show and people get here in many varied ways. Some fly, some come by boat and some choose to drive. And some like these two. This is Colin and Steve from Autocar. I think you've got the most unusual mode of transport. Could you just tell me for a second, Steve, how you got here yesterday? Well, we came in a 1912 Model T, uh, Model T Ford, which, is, which was the second car ever made in the Ford plant at Manchester in, in England. And uh, in fact, although it, it, it seems unusual now, there were 15 million of them built, so it's not that unusual, really. Okay, so how long, did, Colin, did the journey take you? Um, just under three days. We left on Friday morning um, from Fleet Street, which is where Autocar was in uh, Tudor Street, which is where Autocar was in 1912. Um, drove down to Dover, crossed over, stayed near Calais on um, Saturday morning, and then drove all Saturday, all Sunday and got into Geneva on my bad lunchtime. On and you were Saturday. averaging speeds of what? Tell me. Mm, probably 30, I should think. 38 downhills and 28 uphills and 30 most of the time. So only one more question, really. Why? Well, it was a, it was a great thing to do. In fact, it, it, it was surprisingly quick. We found that uh, there were plenty of times when we were as fast as the traffic. And it's only really it, w when you drive a modern car on motorway that you make a lot of time more than we made. We, it was quite fast and it was quite entertaining. I imagine it's a very different driving experience to driving the cars of today. Did you go? Did you have any kind of training or did you get a chance to practice the car before you actually got behind the wheel? We had to, um, we had to learn how to drive it. It has a very strange uh, transmission. There's no gearbox. You have to work the gears on a pedal. Uh, and uh, we, there were times when we thought we were going to hit the wall or the bloke in front, but uh, we managed it. Any problems? Did you break down on the way? Uh, no, there was a nut that came undone on the exhaust, but it's a very simple car, so we just stopped and did it up with a spanner and off we went. So Don't forget the rattling number plate, Cole. No, we, no, no. we had a the rattling... front number plate developed a nasty rattle about halfway through, but we managed to uh, put our heads together and use our engineering expertise and, and bodge that up. So that was... Well, I had to battle two flights and two airports yesterday morning, and your journey sounds far more stress-free than mine. How are you getting back, Steve? We're going to go the way you came. We're going to go back in the... <laughs> We'd like to drive, but we just haven't got the time. If, uh, if, if, if we could do it, we'd love to go back in the Model T. It was great.